Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of Bucket Coding. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to use Minecraft's JSON chat features in order to create uh, awesome looking custom messages. Now you might not know what I'm talking about, but if you open up Minecraft and get an achievement, you'll notice that in the chat, um, it'll say something along the lines of player has received the achievement, whatever, and then it will actually show you, um, it'll say the achievement name, but if you hover over it, it'll actually give you more information about the achievement. Um, and today I'm going to show you how to use that to make your own messages that you can hover over certain parts of the message to see tooltips and then you can actually click on parts of the messages to show to open up a website or do other actions like that. It's actually really really cool and I'm sure that this will become a new standard on a lot of servers. Um, so what we're going to use is this um, library called uh, Fanciful I believe and basically uh, this is just a library that allows you to easily um, you know, manipulate the um, JSON. You can just use a bunch of methods, and then it automatically um, takes care of everything for you. So uh, you're going to want to head over to this repository right here that has all of the code, and click Download Zip right here, and that will download all of the source as a zip. Once you have it open, you'll get something that looks like this, this folder right here. You're going to want to go to SRC, then main, then Java. And when you get right here, you want to head over to Eclipse, take MK, whatever, and net, drag that into your SRC folder, copy, and hit OK. And now, if you take a look inside, you'll see that we now have um, three classes, fancy message, message part, and this reflection class. So now we can actually go ahead and get started. In the main uh, Java plugin um, subclass, we have um, on enable that registers the events, and then we just have a player join event. So when the player joins the server, we're going to actually send them the message. And uh, the way that we're going to do this is we are going to start off by first instantiating new fancy message and it will take in a string which represents the first um, thing that you want it to say. Now, since we are, uh, since I'm going to use this episode to do a little self-marketing, I'm going to make the message uh, prompt the person who joins the server to subscribe to me, and then add an easy link for getting to my channel. So the first um, part of the message that we're going to want to say is, um, check out my YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe. So next, what we're going to do is the way that um, this has been uh, created, this class has been created using basically a builder pattern, which is where uh, normally you would instantiate a fancy message, and then you would call a bunch of uh, void methods on it. But in this case, it works like a builder uh, where you just keep calling methods on the same instance and you never need to actually, you know, assign it to a variable. And that will make more sense right now when we actually go ahead and use it. So the way that a fancy message works is you give it um, the text that you want it to have and then you um, give it any kind of formatting options. So the first text we want it to have is check out my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe. And then we want to go ahead and... Um, do this in, let's just say, green, so you would say dot, and you'll see all of these different options pop up. There are a ton of options, and we're, we'll use a couple of them today. For now, we're going to use color, and this takes in a normal chat color. So in this case, we're going to do, um, actually, let's just do gold. I like that gold. Then we're going to say then, if I can spell it right, that will take in an object, and that's basically the next piece of text that should... Uh, be shown, and then we're going to say, first we need to have a space here so that they aren't clumped together, and then we're going to say then, um, uh, click here. And let's just put this in the color green, or let's just do, um, blue, since most hyperlinks are in blue. Um, we'll go ahead and do, um, style, and then you can give it some different styles. 
So we can say chat color dot um, underline because we're going for like a hyperlink kind of feel. So underlined in blue. And then you can go ahead and say dot link to http colon slash slash youtube dot com slash pogo stick 29 dev. I think it's slash user slash pogo stick 29 dev. Now notice that there are some other options that you could actually have. There's file, which I I'm not quite sure what that does. It basically, I think, shows a file probably on the user's local file system. I'm not quite sure. Um, there's suggest where it will suggest that you run a command. So if you wanted to, you know, have them run a command when they join, uh, those are basically the options for there. But we're going to be using a link this time. And so we have that, and then you can go ahead and say dot send to e dot get player. And since this is using a builder pattern, it just, we instantiate it, we do all the different things. But every time I call this, when I call the color method, it returns this same instance of fancy message so that I can do everything, you know, easier than having, you know, one variable and then calling a ton of void methods on it. Um, before we uh, test this out, I just want to show you some of the other um, options that I did not show. You can show... Um, achievement tool tips, just like I said earlier in the video, how they would show achievements. You can, you know, pass an achievement or a name, and it would uh, show the tool tip for that. Uh, command is where clicking on it would have them run a command. Um, item tool tip, if you put in an item, it'll give you the tool tip with, like, you know, the name of the item and possibly some other in uh, information. Um, Statistic tooltip, which takes a statistic. Not quite sure what that does, but I think it has to do with, like, uh, I don't know, time played or whatever. I'm not quite sure. I could look into that. Um, suggest, you can suggest commands. And then um, tooltip, that's the thing that we forgot to add. Uh, the tooltip is basically for when uh, the player hovers over it and something will show up, and let's just have it be, um, uh, go to my YouTube channel. So when, so if they click on it, then they'll know, so if they hover over it, it'll just say go to my YouTube channel, so that they'll know where the link is going, and then that should be good. I do have the plugin.yml, of course, so let's go ahead and export this and give it a try. Go ahead and reload. Then I'll go ahead and join. And as you can see, it says, check out my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe. Then click here. Now if I hover over this, um, it will say, go to my YouTube channel. And if I click on it, it will ask if I want to open this link and I'll go ahead and say yes. So it will then take me to my YouTube channel. The last thing that I just noticed is that the underline does not work and that's just because I think you need to put style um, before color and then let's just get rid of that dot and see if it works a little bit better. You just wanted to have the style before the color and then if I rejoin strange it does not seem to want to be underlined. So I'll take a look at that and if it's an issue with my code then I will you know post working code in the description. But as you can see it does print out the message in the correct colors and then clicking on it, it will it does have um, the tooltip and then clicking on it will prompt me to go to my channel URL. So that's all for this video. We used uh, the Minecraft 1.7 JSON chat features to basically make uh, a special message that can uh, have a tooltip and trigger an action. I think it's uh, one of the coolest, you know, features of Minecraft as far as uh, plugins go for really making, you know, customized messages. I think it's right up there with holograms. So, as always, subscribe if you want to see more, comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button, and I will see you guys soon with the next video. Bye, guys.